Brian, finding that scoring touch again for you, the puck find in the back of the net, and it's kind of interesting because it all started with an empty net goal on New Year's Eve against the Minnesota Wild, but what's it, um, what is it that's gotten your confidence back? Is it anything in particular? Uh, I don't think it's confidence at all. You know, I think, uh, you know, I've been comfortable with my game lately, and I think the big thing was, I think we were talking about a little bit uh, a week ago or so, too. I, mean, I just got to start shooting the puck a bit more. And obviously, the guys have been making some great plays, setting me up and stuff, but, you know, I've, uh, I feel like I've been finding ways to get to scare, scoring or uh, scoring areas more and uh, you know just been you know putting the puck on that more and getting to the net and and uh, you know it's been happening and going for me so it's good to see. When you get to those scoring areas you make it scary for the other team on the other side for sure. How much does it help too that you have Scott Hartnell and Nick Foligno back with you one on either side? Yeah that's what I was saying you know, you know I've been getting set up a lot they've been making some great plays and you know we uh, seem to have this chemistry where you know we're uh, able to put ourselves in scoring situations uh, quite often and uh, you know those two guys are obviously big bodies and, and we play a good heavy game down low and, and uh, so we just need to keep keep using those assets that we have and, and uh, hopefully we'll keep being successful. How much have you enjoyed playing in all situations because you've been out there on the penalty kill too and with Artem and Nisimov out you being out there gives another guy that has that good long reach. Are you enjoying playing the penalty kill right now? Yeah yeah I like penalty killing and you know it's a Special team is such a big part of the game, and uh, you know it's nice to be involved in that as well. And, and if I go out there and help our help our kill, and you know I'm mostly used for faceoffs and things like that. And but um, you know I feel like I'm pretty effective out there, using, like you said, using reach and my speed and things like that. So you know it's nice to get one of our good penalty killers back as well, Mark and Test too. And, uh, that helps our penalty kill big time as well. And uh, you know so hopefully we can uh, keep getting the job done there. The Leafs uh, coming off a loss and coming off a coaching change, they've had a couple of days to catch your breath here. Do you expect to see a, maybe a little bit more structured and uh, a tougher team to play against here tonight? Yeah, I mean, any time a team's trying to find their game, you know, you're going to get their best effort and they're going to be trying to do everything they can to win hockey games. So, um, you know, we're still behind the eight ball as well. We need to find ways to get points. So uh, I expect a great game tonight. It'll be a, you know, it'll be a war out there. And, um, now hopefully we can come out on top. How big is four checking going to be in this game tonight? Yeah, four checking is always the key to our game plan. You know, when we're skating and getting pucks behind their their defensemen, and, you know, then we're mostly successful. So, uh, you know, that's something we're going to key on tonight and and uh, try and play in their zone as much as we can.